Great, hello middle school percussionists. Um, today we're gonna to be working on snare work. Uh, this is not my forte. I don't think it's a secret that I am not a drummer. This is probably my weakest spot. Um, so for warm-ups, I will talk a little bit about what the warm-ups are, but I'm going to send you to the link of a YouTube channel of a person who does it far, far more confidently than I do um, and has built a, a five minute warm-up for all tr snare drummers. And I think that's something that you should really build into your practice. Um, get a metronome app, number one. The metronome app is going to be your best friend. It gives you a sense of responsibility. This is your job in the band is to be everyone else's metronome. So you have to practice with one. I just generally set it to 60 when I do snare exercises at first. Do not try to make this faster. You will be inconsistent and it will fall apart. Um, but the first thing you're gonna do is start it off the video will do this in more detail and I won't do it as long, but just to show you what somewhat of a, a drumming amateur looks like when you do it versus the professional that's doing it on the YouTube channel, this is what it looks like. So I just start with quarter notes to really just get the beat down, feel the rebound of the stick. So loosely hold your sticks, but securely. So you shouldn't be going shouldn't just be down, you should feel a bounce, right? And you should be alternating right, left, right, left, and kick it to eight notes. So you go one and two and three and four and one. And then you kick it to 16 notes. So one E and a. Keep your hands at the same volume. Your right and your left stick should sound the same when they hit the drum. It should not sound like... Should not sound like... That just doesn't sound right. Equal. Equal power, equal stroke. Um, with the 16th notes, one other thing that the video does before it starts getting out of my comfort range is um, alternating strokes. So everything I did was just right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. What we're going to do is right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, two at a time. Ready? One, two, ready, go. that is where it starts to become a little more difficult. So those warm-ups, I would say probably do 30 seconds of your straight quarter notes, get into the groove, 30 seconds of eighth notes, a full minute of 16th notes, uh, alternating right, left, right, left, and then another full minute of going right, right, left, right, right, left, right, 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 and then change. difficult. But for the rest of that, I will send you over to the other YouTube channel for the professional drummer to do it a little more competently. Um, now, we need to talk about our piece. Our piece is called Air and Dance. Um, you are going to flip to where it says Percussion 4. Percussion 4 is snare drum and bass drum. Um, we do not have a bass drum at ASHK, so we are going to stick with the snare. Plus, the bass drum part is pretty much just half notes. Um, counting snare in beginner band pieces is actually mostly a game of learning how to count rests. You see there's a lot of rests, um, and that's not a mistake. You are supposed to be keeping rhythm and keeping pattern. So I'm going to count off at about 80. One, two, ready, and I will play from the beginning to 33. One, two, one, two, ready, rest. One, Three, four, one, 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 one, 
three, four, one. One, three, four, one. One, three, four, one. One, three, four, one. Nineteen, one, three, four, one. 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 One, 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 two, three, four, rest. That's it. Up to measure 33, it's not a super difficult part, but focus on your alternating. Whenever you restart a pattern, start it on your right. So it's one, right, left, three, four, one, right, left, right, left, right, left, four, one, right, left, right, left. Whenever you have rests before a new passage, switch to your right hand. If you have time to reset your right hand, even if you are left hand dominant, start with your right hand. That is something that you will train into yourself. Now, lastly, we will play it with the piece. This is going to be a more interesting way to practice for you. Things to notice immediately though, snares off. So if you are practicing with a live snare drum, Andy, I know you probably will be, turn your snare off. The rattle at the bottom, turn it off. It's supposed to sound more like a, a round kettle drum. You'll hear it in the recording. Um, and also, it's piano, which means softly, which is a drummer's worst nightmare. You have to play softly. This is not a loud drum feature piece. So, let us get it ready. And then I'm going to see if I can hop in right at the beginning. I might miss the first measure because I'm hitting play. Ready? for this week, I would like you to record measures 1 through 33 on snare, uh, either on your pad. If you do not have a drum pad at home, do it on a harder plastic chair that can give you a bounce. So, right? That is okay. Um, if you do not have sticks, you can do hand percussion, but I would really need you to get sticks as soon as possible. I'm pretty sure almost all of you have sticks. Um, if you are normally a mallet percussionist, what you do not have your mallets for marimba or vibraphone or glockenspiel, you will be doing snare work over this month. Um, so get ready for this. This, this will be fun. Um, and check out the video that I send you for the warm-ups. That guy is pretty fantastic and it's, it's going to add up to about the same time as a warm-up for everyone else. Cool.
good luck. Message me if you have any questions. I'll be on Gchat, Hangouts, Mail, wherever you want to send me a question. Talk to you later.